So this video is about how to record your electric guitar in Reaper. I try to keep this as simple as possible so you can record your guitar for core playing purposes or whatever it is. Maybe you want to record and listen to your mistakes or whatever it is. Let's get straight to the point. So now I have the Reaper open and I will add first track here, input two and give me a second so i'm setting up my cap and amplifier here Put some delay And always, when you are recording, especially for covers, always tune up your guitar. It, it's nothing more annoying than having just one string that is out of tune, and then you have to do it all over again. I'm using Arc to Penoli for my <laughs> uh, tuning part, and using the other plugins for playing. Okay. I am actually recording the um, rhythm parts first, so I will just take a part of the song which is Oden Owns You All by Amon Amart, it's standard beat tuning. So the first thing you have to want to do is to just press the record on and then play along whatever you're playing. Okay, that's enough. So now here we have what I explained. I'm not trying to do things perfectly or anything like that. I'm just trying to show up recording part. Okay, here is the first track. Now we have we want to add an additional track. Okay, so we can duplicate the first one and put the first one off. So now you can remove this part. And now you have the second track and you are basically recording the second part of the rhythm guitar now. Because for the rhythm guitars you want to record them twice to make the, like a more deeper sound that's coming. You can actually record as many as you want. Record like four rhythm guitars to make it like real deep. But timing it have to be correct because if you have like four guitars at a little bit wrong time it just sounds bad so okay so i have my record back on let's put the same part again Okay, that's enough. Okay, now we have the second, second written track. Uh, let's put the last one before we're moving on. So now you can duplicate it again. Put the second record off. Now you have the third one on here. And now since I'm, because I'm recording the uh, lead one, I will just change here this to lead and put the uh, input a bit lower. It's up to you if you want to swap these settings or whatever plugin you're using. Okay, so now I'm playing the lead part. Let's put the record on. All right, that's it. So now we have two rhythm parts and then a lead part. If there is a song that's basically having like two guitars only like... If you have parts where the lead and the rhythm guitars are playing the same parts, then you can basically put them left and right. Or you can always do whatever you like. What I want, usually like to do, even if they're like uh, the lead and the rhythm playing the same part, I'm still recording like rhythm to left, uh, rhythm to right and then lead to middle. It depends on the song of course. So what we have now here, we have three tracks here. 
Uh, the first thing is that you want to put the tracks together so they are pretty much in sync. So they sound... Probably a bit forward. Okay, it's all right for the demonstrating how how this actually works. My timing is you can actually see right here my timing isn't like on point at some part here. So it's I mean it's one of the most important thing to um, when you're playing guitar, when you're playing covers, when you're playing uh, along the song, the timing is the most important one. You can act, you can play, <laughs> you can well, of course wrong notes sound bad, but you can play wrong notes or a bit wrong as long as you stay in time. I mean, you can play right and do whatever you want. If you if you are not on point with timing, it's it it, it will not sound good. So now the I'm gonna sync with the lead part also. Let's see how it goes here something like this put this a bit forward I put this Okay, so what you want to do next is to put the, uh, the left rhythm track here pun to left and then the other one to right. So you have root, left, right and the lead is at middle. Listen to this. Bam. So so now you have the left, right and the middle one, it sounds good. Then you can, whatever you want to do with the tracks, put delays or it's up to you. So this is pretty basic stuff and uh, all I can say is that do this and then synchronize the song with your guitar tracks. So then you have a guitar cover. There are two rhythm guitar tracks but if, if you want to like uh, record your playing to YouTube, like having phone in front of you, what I'm doing is that I'm just recording to other rhythm track and then I'm usually just recording to other one, like not, not filming it. But it depends. I, I'm, I might actually record both of them and then pick the better one for the video. And then I'm uh, separately um, recording the lead. So that's why I'm usually having like two guitars in my videos because I'm recording root and the lead separately. So yes, uh, this was video how to record your <laughs> guitar tracks in the Reaper. And it's... you can make it complicated. But what I'm gonna say is that keep it as simple as possible at the beginning. So it makes easier for you to begin to record your stuff and then move on for like mixing parts and how to add just equalizer for example it's part of the process and when you have done the tracks you can always take the time selection file render and then i'm posting the sample rate to 48,000. then you can name it whatever you want owns you all directory um for example to desktop and time selection master mix render one file bam you have it rendered And you can always add the volume. Alright, this was it. Thank you for watching. And stay tuned for more tip videos, cover videos, other videos.
remember to subscribe and see you in the next video. Thank you.